On the face of it, landscape photography seems like a really simple thing. You come to a beauty spot like this, take out your camera and take a picture. But anybody who's ever tried it realizes pretty quick there's a little more to it than that. So come with me on this hike today and we're going to discover everything you need to know about landscape photography. You know what they say, if you don't like the weather in Ireland, just wait five minutes. And the truth is that the weather is hugely changeable today. We've got kind of um, sporadic cloud cover and that can be great. It gives you a lot of different um, lighting environments to work with. Now I can't wait to get off the beaten track and get into the wilderness. But as we're walking by, look at this. The lake is looking spectacular this morning. Great potential for reflections and, and all of that in it. So I'm going to head down there and see if I can grab a shot or two. Okay, so I found a really nice simple composition just at the lake shore here. And what's nice about this is the balance between the reflection of the mountain in the lake and the light across the reeds in the foreground. So what I'm using is I'm using a polarizing filter to maximize the reflection in the lake. And we're also using a neutral density filter to reduce the amount of light that's coming into the camera so we can get a longer exposure and so reduce any of the ripples on the lake to make it a perfect mirror-like surface. So let's take a few shots and see how we get on. I love environments like this for photography. They're full of texture and detail. Look at the bark here, it's really beautiful. The forest floor is this lush, vibrant green. The clouds have been kind of on and off today, so if we have any luck at all, we might get a little bit of sunshine and that'll bring a lot of drama to this forest floor. So let's go on in, set up a shot and see what we can get. Okay, so it's been great to get some shots in the forest and down by the lake, but now we're going to try and get some elevation to get that uh, epic landscape shot that I promised earlier in the day. So, as you can see, there's some beautiful scenery around here, but it's just a case of getting high enough to actually be able to get that shot, which shows us the whole um, valley. So let's head on and see what we can grab. It's funny, when we think about landscape photography, we often think about cameras and lenses and filters. But the truth is, for a day like today, one of the most important things is to have a good pair of walking boots and some rain gear. Also bring in water and something to eat, because, you know, you could be out for quite a few hours, and the last thing you want to do is have a beautiful day where you kind of lose your attention, lose your interest because you're just tired, cold, or kind of worn out. So yeah, the absolute essentials are rain gear, water, and a good pair of hiking boots. So as you can see, there's a great view here. We just need a split in the trees and we have a bit of a gap here. So this will hopefully give us a view of the whole glacial valley. Um, so let's just have a quick look. Yeah, and as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Perfect day for this. We've got great texture in the clouds and yet we've got some sunlight on the 
um, valley itself. So let's just set up and see what we can get. Okay, so I'm just gonna set up my tripod here. Uh, the great thing about a tripod really, it's, it's an essential piece of kit, you know? And not only does it allow you to get like longer shutter speeds and all of that, but it also allows you to step back from your image and see what your frame actually looks like, which is really essential. You wanna step back, have a look and see if your composition is nice. So it really allows you kind of slow down the whole process. I might also um, use a slightly slower shutter speed to get a little bit of movement in the clouds. So um, tripod is an absolutely essential piece of kit, even if it is a bit painful to lug it all the way up to somewhere like here. Okay, so we have this shot of the valley now beautifully framed we've got the clouds um lovely texture there and the lake and so the first thing we want to do is we want to use a polarizer on our lens now the polarizer is going to cut down or magnify reflections and that depends on which way you twist the polarizer itself so what we really want this polarizer to do is to give us as much reflection in the lake surface as possible but also to kind of um it'll bring out the blues in the sky and it'll control the highlights a little in um any bits that are flaring light back to the camera so let's just throw on that polarizer and well we, first of all we'll take a shot of it without the polarizer on throw on that polarizer onto my lens now. Okay. So as I said, I should just manage our reflections in the, uh, in the lake and it'll give us a little bit more blue in the sky. So it needs, you need to twist this polarizer to really, and you can see there, at one point it darkens the lake down an awful lot. And then as I twist it the other way, you can see the whole lake lighting up as a huge reflective surface. And if I twist it the other way, it darkens the lake down a lot. Okie dokie. So I wanna really try and get some of those reflections in that surface. Okay, and that's quite nice, getting some lovely light now coming through, streaming in over the valley. And the last thing then we're going to do is we're going to add a graduated filter. Now these graduated filters, as you can see, it's dark at the top and it fades to transparent. And really the idea of a graduated filter is just to darken down the sky, to give us a little bit more drama in our clouds. Often the clouds being, you know, the sky being one of the brightest parts of the image, you really want to darken that down a little bit just to balance it up with the rest of your image. Okay, jump back in. Just gonna refocus. Okay. So it's amazing the variety of pictures you can get on just a simple short photo walk like we did today. So if you'd like to learn more about landscape photography, from the compositional tools that'll help you make stronger images, to your choice of shutter speed, aperture and how to use filters, why not join me on my next walk? We'd love to see you.